Welcome to Geek Comedy Night. I'm your host, Kevin Harrington, coming at you in the finest comic book store this side of Los Angeles. Tonight we're going to explore Star trek -y goodness on Into Darkness. Uh, you might be seeing some of this, the theme tonight in addition to Star Trek. The silent theme is bears. It was, it was a movie made really for the fans. You know, we just wanted to do as much fan service as possible. That's why you'll notice we did little things in the movie, the Tribbles. We had uh, the scene with Admiral Marcus where he has the old spaceships. <coughs> and if, uh, if you look really closely, we made some very subtle allusions to Wrath of Khan. <laughs> <laughs> and that was all just for you guys. And uh, so are we f filming the show? You're rolling. Oh, okay. I, I didn't realize that. This is... Gee, the lighting in here is terrible. Let me, um... Does this help? If there's something in the back? Is this better for you? I think this is... If I were shooting this, this is the way I would want to do it. Yeah, so if you want to, you know, kind of go do your thing, Ensign, uh... I, I guess I'm needed down planet side. I'm not... Yes, yeah! Why don't you take Sulu and check off and, uh, go down and, and just kind of... Actually, you know what would really help me? is if you could go down to the planet Somerville and go get me some cash from the ATMatron uh, <laughs> so we have for our vending machines up front. All right, it's very right. parallel. I want you to wear that uniform. Right. I want you to wear that uniform. I want you to I want you to be walking in front of our guys at all times, <laughs> making wild gestures, possibly like gang signs. Um, and I want you to be in front of them at all times uh, because it's a very important mission, possibly dangerous. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. Well, you're an ensign, and this is, uh, this is what All you, right, well, you're, you're up for your performance review. You want to make that rank, finally. You're the boss, so... Uh, oh, and uh, can you please turn your phaser to stun? I don't want you to get hurt. <laughs> uh, it's a liability if you have it on. I know, and uh, my health insurance as an ensign is very poor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Not the worst of it. The second worst of it is that they were going to have... This is like real production trivia now. Uh, they were going to have Industrial Light and Magic, a.k.a. the Star Wars guys. <coughs> right, yay, a.k.a. Hollywood, do the effects. <laughs> ILM was like, sorry, we're busy making this other thing called uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, George Lucas's other sweet franchise. <laughs> <laughs> so the effects suck ass. They had, like, my dad do them. I don't even know. They're just <laughs> They're terrible. Uh, and on top of that, if that wasn't sad enough, the original script called for Sean Connery to be the villain. Yeah, yeah, fucking sweet, right? That would have been awesome. They named the planet Shakari after him. That's true, it's an intentional pun. He's not in the movie. He turned down the role to go play, wait for it, Harrison Ford's dad in Indiana Jones and the High Crusade. It's like, I'm not kidding, this is real shit. It's like Shatner showed up in Hollywood and was like, hey guys, I'm having a party. I'm gonna write and direct and star in the party. It's gonna be great. You wanna come to my party? And Hollywood collectively went, yeah, that'd be. Oh, George is having this thing. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure it's gonna be great. No, we gotta go. Like, oh peels away in convertible. Okay, coming to the stage, uh, very. I'm back. Come back. Uh. All right. They got the money needed. They got it at the desk. We're... Sulu and Chekhov are dead. What? <laughs> <laughs> How? Wait, wait. No, they're officers. They don't die. No, they did. There was aliens. It was crazy. And you're. But I made it. I. How? I did. I. I stunned him real hard, <laughs> and, uh, you... but I did it. I... The mission's done, Cap. Holy shit. So, um, how about that promotion? My family's really been pushing me for this. Oh, Christ. <laughs> that promotion. Ah, yes. Actually, you know what? You're going to need to go down to HR for that. Okay, where's that? Uh, go through the airlock right here. <laughs> shut the door securely behind you. Walk to the end of the ship. Because it's too dangerous to go through that door again. Well, they're like, that sounds dangerous. Well, it's it's well, it's safe because they're, you know Chekhov and uh, Sulu are dead that way. So why don't you go to this way to HR? Uh, just try a lot of doors, and uh, if you see any tribbles, uh, rub them all over you. <laughs> so uh, Godspeed, Armistead, uh, Ensign, and. Uh, 
I really, uh, I trust you. <laughs> oh god, that's gonna come back to bite me in the ass. <laughs> and make sure it's secure. Yeah, I know, I could die when it closed. Yep, yeah, when you feel the rush of death coming close to you, it's working. <laughs> Alright, thanks, Cap. <laughs> Ensign Armistead, ladies and gentlemen. John Picard was in X-Men 1, 2, and 3, but not 4. That was Wolverine, and it sucked. <laughs> so they didn't make it in space. John Picard was in a TV show called Extras. He played some guy I don't know named Patrick Stewart. Also sexy. In space. I forget. What was it? What were the other? Uh, what was it? Bottom? What is this? Uh, <laughs> Travis, you're doing great, man. <laughs> you guys don't fuck with him. He has spina bifida. <laughs> Not funny. Serious thing. Uh, oh, he was, he was in, uh, Dune. John Luke Picard was in Dune. He played. <laughs> oh, Ellie? Oh, Halle, which was a goon in space. Got anything else, man? Bambi 2. John Picard was in Bambi 2. He killed Mom again because she was a Jew in space. In space. Okay, fuck this, Travis. I'm taking over, man. John Picard was in Rocky 3. He played Mr. T, and in that version, he killed Rocky. In Given a subpar intro, but I give an awesome outro, ladies uh, or gentlemen. We're parallel parking up here. Uh, oh shit! Oh, I made it through the airlock. How? How the, how the hell did you make it through an airlock? There was a breach. Spock lost both of his legs. Spock? He's what, how is he? How is he? He also lost both of his arms oh, and his torso. <laughs> Oh. But his head, his head's okay, right? Like, he can, he can still, we can put him on some sort of spider robot, and he yeah. can still be my science officer, right? His, his head's still singing songs oh, about Bimbo Baggins, it's weird. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> good old Spock. Uh, but seriously, I did it, I fixed the breach. I've been an ensign for 16 years. Can I, really... I finally get that promotion? Oh, I mean... the budgets are really tight right now. <laughs> I can't, you know what, if you could just... Uh, you just look out that window, that space window. Yeah, well, I want you to tell me about how you did this. Well, there was, there was a breach. And the, well, ow! What was that? You're supposed to die now. <laughs> how are you incapable of dying? That just hurt really bad. <laughs> Wait, hang on. What? what it, no, 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 no. Uh, look at the airlock, and I want you to think about... Space, yeah, yeah, that's the ticket. Think I about space. Looked at the airlock. <laughs> I fixed it. It was. <laughs> that hurt. What are you doing to me? I'm trying to kill you. Why? I can't promote you because we just don't have the money. So you don't have the money or don't have the will. <laughs> oh, I just want to kill you just for that alone. You say it. Please, my family needs this. That's all I got. Well, he, I can't afford to put him on a spider body, I guess. If only we could afford to get you a blue uniform, I'd make oh. you my science officer. Well, luckily for you, yeah. oh, I've got this blue shirt. Where did you get a blue shirt? The union's really strong. Trust oh, me. you son of a bitch. <laughs> How did you think of all this? Like, you're an ensign. You're supposed to get killed in the first five minutes of every episode. Well, I did have a secret plan, Captain. Ensign Armistead. Wait a minute. Armistead. Sean Armistead. My one nemesis for Geek Comedy Night, who's hell-bent on destroying my show at all times. And now I've destroyed your entire crew! <laughs> the show is ruined! Sean!